Amen. We thank God it's Friday. This is the day the Lord has made, and we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. I'm excited to share God's word with you. So it's Friday, so you know, as usual, we just lay back a little bit and then talk about the wisdom book, specifically the book of Proverbs and sometimes Ecclesiastes. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. It gives us life, hope, and meaning. In the name of Jesus, I bless your weekend that you will be refreshed, rejuvenated, and strength will come as we wait upon him. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Praise God. All right. So let's get busy and read from the book of Proverbs, a scripture which is very straight to the point. The righteous choose their friends carefully. The righteous choose their friends carefully. All right. So we want to talk about planning for tomorrow. Planning for tomorrow. I think you're going to get used to the fact that um, you need God's word because of that uh, sense of many angles of truth when you meditate on it. So once you read the verse, those of you that are familiar with the podcast, you realize that the angle I'm coming at it is a rich truth that those who study the Bible always gain. So there's an obvious word that you receive once you get the word but once you stare at it long enough it speaks volumes all right so straight to the point you know the obvious truth that your friends influences your life your friends influences your your decision and you notice that he did not say that um he did not say that the wise man chooses your friend carefully he said the righteous man so if you want to build values If you want to build value, value system, then you have to be intentional about people that you allow them to influence you, right? Because not everybody who is wise is righteous, basically. You understand that? So it says the righteous man uh, chooses their friends wisely because when I'm bringing you into my life, I'm bringing you into a, a place where you will influence me without even me knowing it, all right? So that is why it is critical that you are intentional about who you call friend or who you engage friendship with. It's a whole lot I can talk about, but I want to go straight to why we are here talking about planning for tomorrow. All right, so let's just chill and talk about it. Now, um, how do I connect this verse to planning for tomorrow? There's only one point I want to talk about this right here, which is The ability to see the influence of a person in your life tomorrow is what I'm talking about. Most people um, are able to see the value people bring to them today. Most people are able to see the value that a a friend, a so-called friend, will be for them today. But planning for tomorrow means you have the ability to see the value or the lack of value a person will be for you tomorrow. And that is where everything falls apart or stands strong. The Bible says Solomon had 700 (laughs) wives and 300 girlfriends or side chicks or mistresses, whatever you want to call it. The old times they call it concubines. And the Bible says that when he got older, these girls, these women, turned his heart away from God. When he was younger, he got this under control. But when he got older, he took control over him. So when I talk about planning for your tomorrow, as it relates to connecting with people... I want to just let you understand that you have to gain the ability to know not what influence you get from a person today, but what influence will I get from the person tomorrow? And the ability to know that is what I'm talking about. Ability to know that this person will provide this kind of influence over my life tomorrow is really where the game is changed or that's where things get very challenging so when you are planning for tomorrow when it comes to friendship 
it is therefore important and critical that you understand that if this person is going to be valuable to me, I have to factor in where they are going in life. I have to factor in how they will play a role in my life tomorrow. You understand that? So, once you connect with people and you connect with them, would understand that I am in your life for tomorrow, you will begin to answer questions that will put you in a place where you know that I'm not going to put myself in a condition where I have surrounded myself with people that are good for me today but not good for me tomorrow. I know you want me to be so practical and tell you what I mean. Here is another example. The Solomon example is a first example. Another example I want you to see is that once you think about tomorrow, you will choose friends that are disciplined. Once you think about tomorrow, you will choose friends that are focused. If you think about today, you will only choose friends that are excited, that are happy, that are making you laugh. That is a good thing. But once you understand the fact that I am going to find myself. Now, let me say this before we wrap up, because uh, this is a simple concept. Just think about it. A friend that you have today is not necessarily going to destroy your life or lift your life up today. There is going to come a time in your life that the voice of that friend will be the reason why you will do what you will do. And that voice is going to be to your destruction or to your upliftment. Do you understand that? And so that's why all wise people, when they look at the person you are going out with, they look at the person you are being friends with, they will tell you, this journey you are on is not good for you. And most young people don't see it because they can only see today. But those who can see where the friendship is going, they know that tomorrow it will bring you home. So the scripture says now, a righteous person picks their friends carefully because tomorrow is how you know whether your friend is a good friend or not. Tomorrow is how you know whether your friend is valuable or not. Tomorrow is how you know whether you have found yourself in a place where it is destructive. So, let me do quick three things for us to consider and move forward. Always ask yourself, where are you coming from and where are you going? The people in your life today are not the people in your life forever. So it's very critical that you understand that. Always look at people with a question, where are you going tomorrow? You understand? The fact that you came into my life today doesn't mean that you will be vulnerable to me. I will be vulnerable to you as life goes on. So what, what, what you take out from all of this is this. You have to see more than today if you can plan for tomorrow. You understand that? Because tomorrow, life is just time in motion. And if you're going to do well in life, you must be able to think about the next place life is going, which is your future. And therefore, you must select all the things you are picking today because of tomorrow. And any friend that you have recognized that they don't carry consistency in moral uh, kind of quality, no matter how 
exciting, no matter how fun, no matter how joyful, no matter how playful the person is in your camp, you don't have any good plan tomorrow because you are living with a happy, morally bankrupt person today. And that means that the time you are going to make a moral decision, you are going to destroy important things in your life because of your happy friends. So you don't choose friends because they make you happy. You choose friends because they influence you to make the right decisions. You don't choose friends because you are pretty. You choose friends because they influence you to make the right decisions. You don't choose friends because they are rich. You choose friends because they influence you to make the right decision. You don't choose friends because you went to the same school. You choose friends because they influence you to make the right decision. You don't choose friends because you go to the same church, because you go to the same something. You choose friends because they influence you to make the right decision. Do you understand that? If you want to influence somebody, you have to show me your friend and I will show you your influence. Show me your friend and I will show you your mind. Do you understand that? And let me tell you something. The reason why the friend plays a major role in your life is primarily because um, in time of decision making, you go to a place where you depend on the things around you, the voice around you. Do you understand? The reason every leader has advices is because when the pressure comes on you, your brain is not what you use. You pick the brains of the people around you to make right decisions. And you are going to destroy your life if the friends around you are only good for party, good for dancing, good for putting on makeup, and good for wearing tight dresses (laughs) but you don't have any friend that has weight in their thought process all your friends cannot be fools you need to pick friends that are wise anointed and also godly so that tomorrow you'll be fine but today you can pick any person but the reason you pick the right friend is because of tomorrow And that's what I mean by planning for tomorrow. All right. Have an awesome weekend. Father, we thank you. We bless you because you are good. Amen.